Hey guys, it's Austin Billy with Option Traders today. Today we're going to talk about the black magic or the magic involved with market makers that affect the stock price. So this is called options pinning or max pain and today I'm going to show you a per perfect example of what option pinning is and how you can make a considerable amount of money off it when you're day trading options or if you're just doing spreads or strangles or any other type of option strategy. So um, I have this buy pulled up right now but what I'm going to be talk talking about is Apple. I hope this pulls up. Okay, perfect. So this is Wednesday's trading. This is the end of Wednesday's trading here. On Wednesday, I went onto the website that I'll link below, and it showed me, let's see if I can pull it up here, it showed me this. So Apple, it said, because, so the way that option penning works is that the market makers, in order to be profitable, need to keep a stock within a certain price range. Um, and of course, this isn't manipulation because the market makers aren't really manipulating something. They just have so much money that they're allowed that 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 when they buy and sell stuff, they move the market. So like if they wanted to go go down and they have enough money to sell the crap out of like a stock and by selling it over and over and so much, they're causing the stock to to go down into a certain range that they wanted. So on Apple with this strike price or this uh, expiration price, it gave us a strike price of around one set seventy here. And then this one is SPY, and it gave us around 269. So now that's what I researched on Wednesday. However, the options pending changes every single day. Um, but on this example, I researched it on Wednesday, and it usually do, do, doesn't change that much. Now, if you want to do options pending, the key to it is to make sure that the stock that you want to options pin or trade the options pending on, make sure that it is super liquid because... The market makers are smart and they only trade the big name stocks such as Google, Apple, uh, sometimes te Tesla, uh, SPY, SBX. They trade those huge things because it's liquid and they have a huge amount of shares or options so that they need it to man manipulate it in that order. So Apple, this, this is the end of day Wednesday. Um, I researched the pinning and it showed a projected price of, dang it, I, I lost it already. Um... Sorry, it showed a projected of 170 or 167 to 170. So let's look at it here. Um, Wednesday, it's at 178. So I'm not saying to base your trades 100% off options pinning. I would just base one day off of it. But if you wanted to do like a strangle or a straddle trade here, you could strangle it in between this range here if you wanted to. But let's just watch how it played out. So Wednesday here, it's at 179, 178 is bouncing between that range. And we have a projected move on Friday for the stock to close but, uh, between 1667 and 170. So we have this nice sell off on Thursday. And then Friday, we just have this final continuation lower. So now how would I have traded this? Well, since I'm a day trader with options, I would have seen that we're having this huge sell-off. We broke through this major support level during pre-market hours and we're continuing to have this sell-off. I would have waited for the first 15 minutes of the day. It would have pulled up this candle, got rejected by the EMA and would have been a continuation downward. I would have bought a put and we would have had this nice run down. Your exit would be the 167 level or just hold it to the next so, so support level uh, that is how you would have trade the options now this is just a perfect example research on Wednesday we're at the 179 level and market makers based on the options pinning and max pain need to be around the 167 area and we saw on Thursday a nice little push down and on Friday, a huge drop down to that 167 level that we were looking for. Now let's look at SPY. I projected um, on Wednesday to a 269 level. So that was projected on Wednesday. So Wednesday, we're looking at a 271 is the current trading price. And it went down. It dropped on Thursday down past 269, down to 268 almost. Yeah, it hit 268. 68 and then it went up it retested this level we know it's Friday so it's gonna stay somewhere in this 268 level it ended up dropping further down okay so how can we tell what exactly which option which pinning is going to work the best um, 
let's just go back to this example. So as I stated, we want huge options volume and huge open interest. We want it to be a big name stock and we want it to show a perfect. So this is showing how much people will lose money if it settles on this side, how much people will lose money if it settles on this side. Um, so we go straight down the middle here and that I don't know all the math that it uses to count to calculate this but This is what the mar what basically what the mar market makers need the stock to be at so Apple was projected to be a 267 to 70 um, So the reason why Apple in my opinion worked so good is because look how flat down that, that curve went it dropped lower than 269 on SPY which is this one why because look how wide this is the variance is there's basically a lot of people can make money in this situation so it's way up high we don't have that curve down this one we have that clear defined curve in my opinion that is why apple works the best so hopefully y'all can take this use the website put in the ticker name on the top and put in your expiration date and slowly start to record each day what it's saying that it should expire on like what the range is that it should expire on watch it do your own due diligence on it and see if you and see if you can turn this into a strategy uh, me and I don't know his uh, name but someone from the discord uh, chat under the username success uh, we have been tracking these stocks that follow the best options pinnings and we're trying to make a strategy out of it so if you think that's cool Follow the YouTube channel, give it a like, give it a comment, give it, give it a, a subscribe. If you disliked it, then dislike it and tell me why. But the options Discord link is below and the link to this website is below. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can learn something and learn to capitalize on the market makers moves in the market. All right. Y'all have a good one and have success trading in these markets.